Hey, it's Brandy back to share another project with you. I have a mini album. This is a four and a half by six and a half mini album. And sorry for the weird shadow, my cat has decided he needs to be petted right now. Um, I don't remember the paper collection, but I'll put it down in the description box below. I think it's a newer DCVW collection. Um, it is like it's got like pinks, golds, like a really soft green white black and a little bit of silver so here's the cover <laughs> sorry um it's just used this little chipboard embellishment i had i it was in my stash i honestly don't know who makes it or who it's by um it just says enjoy the little things this is ribbon like really old ribbon i took out of my stash i did a tim holtz book plate and then just stamped the word love i did paint the book plate with some gold paint It's just like cheapy craft smart gold clean. Tux, you are so in the way. Alright. And the covers are four and a half are, are five by seven and then the pages are four and a half by six and a half inches. Okay, and it just opens up like this. And there's an inside side pocket. I did wrapped covers. And the cover, this cover is actually made, um, I did vellum. I, I first covered my book, uh, my wrap covers in white paper, and then I went over it with vellum, and then I hid all my edges and my glue with more of the, of the paper collection instead. So, I used to have a pocket here. Um, again, I have about a bazillion stickers in my <laughs> collection so I had one that had um, the word together on it and just printed it out back to on cardstock and put it in the book and then this page opens this way I did another small pocket I thought I just put plain photo mats in mine that way I don't adding a ton of bulk so that way that the spine still has room to move and grow when you add the photos and then you can put photos on both sides. And then there's a nice large spot for a photo here. Um, this came from the same sticker pack. I just backed it on black cardstock, some of the paper collection, and I did leave it open so that when I go to put a photograph inside, it fits underneath. And it looks like it's part of the page as opposed to on top of the page. And then this is just some gold glitter cardstock. It doesn't flake off and it's really smooth. Um, I think it's also by DCBW, and it's actually a really pretty gold. It's not like too yellow or anything like that. And again, just more photo mats. My photo mats, um, <clears throat> they range between full 4x6 to um, some are 35 by 55 and then some are 4x4, four four, and some are the 3x4. And then this is just, I just took a photo mat, I added the gold paper to the edge, and it has a full side pocket here. And the pockets are gusseted so that there's plenty of room for you to add photos. This is just a four and a quarter by six and a quarter flip out so it'll fit a full size photo and make it look matted. That's why I didn't add any design paper to it. And then again, I just made a little flag and left it open so I could place my photo in there. And then I have a small 3x4 photo here, a 4x4 photo here, and then a full 4x6 photo here. And it just closes that way. Nice large spot for a photo. And then it repeats the page styles. So you have the side pocket. I just liked this paper, so I wanted to leave it plain. I think I'll put a smaller cut down photo here and then the recipient can write the, the date or whatever they want up on the in the thing, or they can leave it blank. A large spot, and then this is another pocket. Again, this is more DCVW gold, uh, glitter paper, so it doesn't flake off and it doesn't feel chunky. It's like nice and smooth, which is what I liked about it. And it just has the gold, the gold and the silver. And then this flips down. This is just a really pretty, elegant clean paper collection, which is what I really liked. I think the only paper that is not from this is the honeycomb pink paper. I just, it was part of 
like the loose stock at Michael's. It just, the color went really well with it. And so I grabbed that. And then I left the True Love open at the bottom so I could slide a photo on it. And this flips up, flips down. And then I just have an angle pocket on the very back that holds two more photo mats. And I leave my angle pockets open on the short edge here just so that they, you can just slide right. Well, that was interesting. My light bulb is dying. There we go. <laughs> and um, so that you can just slide right in so you're not trying to fight with two gussets. The gusset just holds it on the top and the gusset on the bottom and then I leave the, the short side open. And then this is the back. And then my glue isn't quite dry on my love. And then I'm going to fill this with glossy accents. I just wanted to make sure I filmed it before I put glossy accents in it because otherwise I would have gotten glossy accents everywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini album. And I will be back soon with another project. Thanks and have a great day.